welcome to another vlogmas. I'm in a very chipper mood this morning. Um, we didn't have coffee in the house for like three days because we ran out and um, I was panicking because I thought that someone had stolen our Amazon order of coffee capsules. Turns out the girls next door had it. Um, so I ran out to them this morning in my dressing gown and got my coffee capsules. That was such a boring story, I'm so sorry. Moral of the story is I've had a coffee. It's sunny outside, so I'm in a fabulous mood. I also have the most lovely day planned. So I'm about to go into town. Um, I'm going to have tea, literally tea, at the Ritz with one of my besties, Vicky. It's her birthday today. It's actually her 30th birthday today. Um, so tea at the Ritz is first on the agenda. And then going for brunch at the Wolseley with Charlie's dada, Charlie's granddad. And then the two of them have got a really fun day planned. I've then got a meeting. And then Charlie and I are going to get our Christmas tree later, so it's just going to be a really lovely festive day. So I thought I'd literally make this a day vlog. I'm saying that now, and we all know that that sometimes doesn't happen because I forget to vlog. But while I've got you, I'm going to do my winter, every day but slightly specialer than every day, um, makeup routine. Because um, it does change at this time of year. Not so much in the end result, but more what I want the products to be doing. So at this time of year, obviously the elements are against us, it is cold and often um, miserable outside, today is actually beautiful, but we're going from icy cold outside to potentially warm by the fire or central heating inside and that change in temperature and being in the city is not good for our skin, our skin can bear the brunt of it let's say. So my winter makeup routine has a lot of elements in it which really help to look after my skin as well as making it look glowing and fresh. So that's what I'm going to share with you today. The main focus for me is always the complexion. I feel like when you get the complexion right, the rest of the look just falls into place. So the base products, the first products I'm going to be using are all from Aborian. I'm sure most of you have heard of Aborian, but the brand basically draw from the expertise and tradition of Korean beauty trends and knowledge and put that into skincare which delivers skincare benefits as well as giving you the complexion of your dreams. So they are a fantastic brand to use for those very first steps in your makeup routine. So I'm going to show you a few of my favourite Aborian products and how I implement them into a winter glow skincare routine. I absolutely love their packaging as well it literally just does what it says on the tin um this is the step one so the first thing to choose is your hybrid primer not just any primer so these have got so many benefits to them and you can really choose them based on your skincare needs and skincare desires my skin as you can probably tell i've got nothing on it at the moment um can be a little bit oily and shiny so what's perfect for me is the mattifying face cream this would be a really good product to use first however <laughs> I do love a glow. I feel like I've said that so many times on this channel, but I do love my skin to glow. So this is actually my favourite primer from Aborian. It's called the Pink Perfect Cream. Four-in-one primer, blur, secret glow, skin refining, and it probably also has something to do with the fact that it is pink. What I love about this is it actually really does visibly minimise the appearance of pores, um, and I've just tried to book myself in for a last minute facial tomorrow before New York um, because the pores on my chin especially are just not in a good way right now. This has got the most gorgeous texture um, and I would say it's like an Instagram filter in a tube just instantly blurs out your pores, blurs out any imperfections and acts as a really really good base for what you apply next. I always like reading the ingredients, especially of the first products that you put on your skin. And this has got pumpkin seed oil in there, which helps to regulate the sebum production in your skin. So if, like me, you do find that your skin gets a little bit oilier throughout the day, this can really help to regulate that. And as you can see, for a glow-giving primer, it's not left me looking shiny, it's just a really lovely natural healthy glow. I will leave all of these products that I'm mentioning um, linked down below and very excitingly the lovely ladies at Aborian have given us a discount code so you can get 20% off um, the products that you love and my favourite products. So you can get 20% off products from Aborian um, and it is valid in the US as well which is amazing because I know that lots of you guys are based out of there so if you want to try it that is a lovely 
way of doing so. The next step is adding a little bit of coverage, not completely um, like washing out the complexion. I don't want anything that's going to hide my actual skin. I want my skin to still show through. So BB and CC creams, I feel like they were such a huge phase and where did that trend come from? Yes, South Korea. These uh, products from Aborian are all developed in their labs in Seoul in South Korea and the focus really is on your skin and having not only good skin the day that you apply it but because the ingredients are so caring for your skin it's like better skin the day you apply it and better skin tomorrow and in the future. So I absolutely love that. And these are just so fantastic for popping in your travel bag, in your gym bag, in your uh, handbag. So, so versatile. So these are just some of the BB creams. So you've got, this is probably the most versatile. This is the BB Creme Nude Sheer Makeup Face Cream. This I would say is really good if you like a super, super light touch. It's really hydrating. Um, it does cover imperfections. As you can see when it comes out, it is not a thick product at all. Just gives a super, super um, light bit of coverage to the skin and it does hide, blur out any imperfections. Perfect for every day if you're like, if you're working from home or if you're a stay at home mom or if you just want a really, really light um, coverage just to blend out your skin. I've got a little bit of redness on my cheeks so it's fantastic for just toning that down. It's also got SPF 20 which is fabulous and then probably my favorite is this one this is the CC cream they call it a high definition radiance face cream this one is actually SPF 25 and it's one of those magic creams that starts off white like a moisturizer and then I'm not sure if my camera will pick it up but it's got like little um, tiny bits of product you can see in there that are like little beads that kind of I mean they're not beads but when you rub it in, and I tend to apply BB and CC creams with my fingers, which makes it so good for doing it at the gym after a workout, um, when you rub it in, they then turn into a skin colour. If I'm just dashing out of the house and I just need the most gorgeous coverage in an instant, you cannot beat this. I will obviously have this in my flight bag too as soon as we land um, or when we're when we're about to land, I will be applying this. Get the moisturization, you get hydration, you get coverage, and you don't you don't need a mirror for it. I mean, I'm doing all of this just looking in the viewfinder, but you could do this without a mirror if you needed to. As well as evening out the complexion, it also just helps illuminate as well. Obviously, I did use the BB, um, the glowing primer to begin with. I'm sorry about the fake tan on my hands, by the way. I had such a shocker last weekend. I need to use some fake tan eraser later. But that just instantly, evens out my complexion, gives the glow and hydrates as well. So many, many benefits. So I know I've just blurted out a load of products there. So I'm gonna try my best to um, separate them all out. Obviously the primers are one thing um, and you can choose between matte and glow. I used glow, but I also love matte on those days when I just wanna be like super, I would say on those more high coverage days, I do go for a matte. Um, and, and then you wanna choose between your BB and your CC. I find the, um, CC is better for every day when you just want all those benefits like hydration, glow, coverage, um, but not too much coverage. It really is perfect for every day, good skin days when you just want a little bit of evening out. And if you do want a bit more coverage, I would say the BB. It's just got slightly more coverage, as you can see, it, as you saw it was tinted as soon as it came out. And I applied it on my chin and my cheeks first, it got rid of any redness. So you can mix them together, um, like I did. I don't, I don't actually normally do that, I was just sort of showing you. But yeah, it gives a little bit more coverage, so that's what you want to choose from next. I would also say the CC is a little bit more um, luminous, whereas the BB gives you more of a full coverage look. Going back to the matte creme, which I said you can use as a primer, you can actually use this for kind of midday or even when you've just finished doing your makeup, top ups oop, to mattify certain areas. So if like me, you're a little bit phobic of powder and you don't like to apply too much, you can actually just apply this. I like to put it between the fingers um, and you can just kind of pat it on to any areas where you might get a little bit shiny. So it's like a nice little extra step. Again, something to keep in your handbag if you just want to blur out any areas of shine during the day. Or, you guessed it, the opposite is the Glow Creme. This is the Illuminating Glow Cream. You could use this as a base. Um, it looks like this, but I like to use it as a really lovely natural highlight. So just taking a tiny bit on my finger here. 
onto the areas oh, where I want a really lovely natural glow. So I take it under my brow bone, on top of my lips. It really is that kind of healthy, juice. Oh, I've just realised you can see my bin in the background of all these shots. <laughs> oh, that's ruined it. Well, this is real life, guys. Um, yeah, this just gives you that really gorgeous, healthy, bouncy, juicy complexion, which I love and is so hard to get at this time of year. I now feel like I need some lip balm. So as I was saying about the ingredients, this has got licorice extract in there, which helps with the um, glow-giving properties. The CC cream that I used has got, and I always get this wrong, Centella Asiatica. I will put it on the screen here. Um, but that's really known for its soothing effects as well. So if you've got maybe... Um, um, a little bit of redness or you've got a little bit OTT on your um, retinol or anything like that maybe your skin's just feeling a little bit sensitive maybe from the wind from the weather then that's got the soothing benefits in it and the BB's got the ginseng which is just ultra like a hit of coffee for um, your skin and all these products are part of Aborian's refine range which I would say is their range that's kind of like skincare makeup so your makeup gives you the result that you want looking really natural um, flawless but also with the benefits of skincare and I love a multitasking product that's why I adore this range so so much also with Centella Asiatica is the CCI you might remember um, last vlogmas I went on the London Eye with a Borean to celebrate this so this is also um, because of the Centella Asiatica it's also got the soothing benefit so if um, I do actually find that my eyes get really sensitive at this time of year this is also that cream which starts off white but then as you blend it it just gives the most perfect amount of coverage so if you really are doing a no makeup day and yes I probably should have done this first um, but if you are doing a no makeup day this is like your eye cream but with a tiny bit of coverage in there I like to take it all around the eye area also helps to fight any visible signs of aging around the eyes and then this is actually something new that the girls very kindly sent me or new to me at least it's their um, touch pen so sculpting and concealing it's got this very handy little um, sponge at the top clicky pen so perfect for having in your handbag again and this I would say is higher coverage than um, the other products that I've used so far so on any areas where you do need a bit of extra coverage and I will actually use my sponge to blend this in that is a gorgeous coverage I've started on those days when I don't want to be like made up like today I mean brunch with Charlie's granddad I don't exactly want to turn up with a full filming face of makeup on um, so I find that using a BB or CC as a gorgeous uh, like evening at the base and a concealer is the best way of getting a fantastic healthy looking complexion and it doesn't take long at all obviously we're all super busy at this time of year there's so many more things that we want to be doing than doing our makeup for hours so really simple as I said you can do it without a mirror beautiful finish and super super long lasting as well so as I mentioned you can get 20% off which is the perfect way to discover the brand um, you can use my name Josie and you can use it site-wide as I said it is available for you guys in the US as well I highly highly recommend picking up a BBLCC cream um, and I have to say having just tried out that concealer I would definitely recommend adding that in too. You get the minis when you spend over £30. So now I'm just going to pop on a little bit of bronzer. I like to just add a bit more warmth to my complexion. <laughs> you guys know I don't like to spend too long on my makeup at all. I just want it to look fresh and healthy throughout the day. A little bit of blush. Don't skip out on the blush at this time of year. I think it really gives you like such a, a healthy glow. I don't need any more highlight because I got that from my glow creme. Quick brow top up and the teeniest little bit of eyeshadow. It really is all about the base for me. All about the base. And the rest of my makeup, as long as the base looks good and we've got some brows in, then I'm not too fussy about the rest. I'm gonna finish with a little bit of lipstick, literally just lipstick roulette let's see and that is my winter everyday makeup healthy looking glowing base with all the benefits of Korean traditional skincare I love it super quick and easy the products are all breathable give me those instant results and long-term skincare benefits so 
tick 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 in every single box i've now got to decide if i want to wear a sparkly skirt or not hmm right i'm gonna get dressed and i'll see you in a minute Nicely full of French toast after brunch at the Wolseley. Now heading into De Beers, just gonna get my ring sparkled up. Gonna be very full of people picking up engagement rings and diamonds at this time of year. Oh la la, I always love looking at all the sparkly new designs. Oh, they all look so shiny under this light. Oh my goodness, look at this. Dada's got expensive taste. We've come straight to the the three, four million pound ring section. Oh, beautiful. They like the loud array of biscuits. <laughs> we have got some De Beers <laughs> biscuits. That's wow. so cute. And my ring has been freshly oh, sparkled. Oh, yeah. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, it makes One so much difference. You should get a ring from here. Absolutely. Look how fabulous she looks. They my camera can't even handle the sparkliness. There we go. Wow, look at that. Oh, amazing. <laughs> there she is. My camera, honestly, the focus. Okay, so I've just come out of De Beers. We got given some little treats in there as well, which is so lovely. We realized um, that it was pretty much two years ago to the day that Charlie went in there to buy my engagement ring. So it's really nice to be in there on this anniversary. So it's really nice to also show Charlie's Dada, the stall where we got the ring from. Now um, heading in to Harvey Nichols for my next meeting. I always love looking at the Christmas windows here. Harvey Nichols is one of the first places in London to really go to town, if not the first, um, thanks to Mary Portis's influence, to really do Christmas windows. So uh, let's have a little look at those before we head inside for my lunch meeting. It's really hard to show you with the reflection. We've got a little winter wonderland theme. Ooh. Yeah, you really can't see very well at all. More of an Alpine Lodge theme here. Lots of gifts. Pretty bag. Oh, it's so festive. Oh, look at this. I cannot stop staring at my ring. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. flowers was like a special edition but they actually sell them here this is a good little outfit of the day mirror so I've got my belted Bayswater mulberry bag my pearl jumper fluffy coat cream leggings and my little booty so snugly and most importantly my headband the magpie and me is drawn to this stand oh my goodness look how beautiful this is wow these bags are spectacular So I just got back home from my morning of meetings. My makeup is still looking so good. I caught a glimpse of myself in the mirror in Harvey Nicks and the glow is pretty. Where was I? Um, yes, so impressed with how my makeup is looking considering I have been a full day in town. Um, oh, need to click out. There we go. 
Um, click out the Edison link. Normally when I come home from a full day of things in town, the first thing I want to do is take my makeup off because it's just caked up or gone a bit grim, but still looking fresh. So I've received quite a few deliveries while we were out, um, so I thought I'd unbox them with you. This one is from Oddbox and they are um, a meal not meal, like a vegetable delivery service with a bit of a difference. I think this is their festive box. They very kindly um, emailed me asking if I wanted to receive this and I was like, hells to the yes. So they're talking about sustainability, how to avoid unnecessary festive waste. Apparently in the UK we see a 30% increase in waste over Christmas. Oh wow, and it says for every e-gift card for odd box purchased, they will donate a box worth of fruit and veg, the equivalent to a 20 meals um, to their friends at the Felix project which is amazing so I will leave the link to the Oddbox e-gift card down below that is such a great idea in fact I think I'm gonna get my brother an Oddbox subscription for um, his Christmas present yep okay I'm gonna buy another one not just give him the one that I've got for free but that is a brilliant idea and I love that they're gonna be um, donating meals as well so in here is all of my odd odd veg so these are veg pieces that might be considered too ugly um, for the supermarket chains but they taste bloody amazing I mean this is proper organic kale we've got some lettuce we've got ooh, peppers okay need to plan oh yes yum um, I'm gonna have a little rummage through here and plan what to make with it all for dinner. Oh, my little chicky, 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 chicky. Tomatoes. Ooh. Yes. Avocado. This is literally fresh from the ground. You can still see the mud in there. And I love that they only use plastic where they absolutely have to. Nothing else in here is in plastic. Look at this, so much veg. We've got onions, we've got avocado, we've got kale, we've got tomatoes, oh my goodness, we have got so much. And in this, um, oh, yes it is kale, and mixed squash, celeriac. So in here it tells you what you've got, um, why it's in there, so whether it was surplus, or whether it was misshapen, or had marks on it, which let's be honest, none of this um, affects the taste, does it? It tells you where to store it, how to cook it, absolutely amazing and there's even some recipe ideas as well as that we've got some very dirty carrots which are the best kind um, and a whole bowl of potatoes so I'm definitely gonna make a really nice thick creamy vegetable soup you know they're fresh when you have half the field in your odd box so this is amazing um thank you very much to the odd box guys I'm gonna sort this all out now plan some recipes and I have got some more packages um, to unbox so let's do some unboxing in the lounge but first coffee okay so I've just positioned myself um, down here in the lounge to undo some of these packages thought I'd sit downstairs with the boys because they have been alone for a couple of hours today so I did do an order oh I'm so sorry my boy from sweaty Betty to keep me toasty warm while I'm in New York and this has arrived so so quickly it's the most gorgeous pink puffer jacket because I just want to be the coziest little marshmallow when we are there oh my god mm. this is so toasty sweaty Betty obviously don't only do um, gym wear hello my little dicky but they do ski base outer layers, ski base layers, um, and outer layers. Like this as well, which I love. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. And I also have a Topshop order. So let me show you what's in here. So this jumper, I just loved the color combination. It reminds me of a strawberry and vanilla ice cream. Again, my camera's not showing the colors too well because it's so dark outside. It's only 20 past three and it's nearly pitch black out there. But it's this gorgeous pink and cream cable knit combination, which is gorgeous. And I did order something which I do not need. It's another coat. Um, this one, I'm not sure if it will be warm enough for New York though. Um, 
I guess if I'm wearing my base layers, my thermals, it probably would be. But I just thought it was a really gorgeous design. I love this big belt buckle. It's a really classic design. It's got like a herringbone detail to the fabric. If you look closely, it's really not showing up that well on camera. So I got that. And then finally, this white, um, really lovely classic kind of roll neck jumper because it is just an absolute wardrobe essential at this time of year. And this was 35 pounds and it is um, a cashmere blend. So I thought that was really, really good value. So three nice little pieces from top shop then i have one more package here to open oh my goodness that is absolutely adorable but i'm not sure how you pronounce this brand um i think it's amy i may a i m e and it's basically um they are like supplements for beauty oh and they do actual beauty products as well so this is a lightweight vitamin c serum pre and probiotics with hyaluronic acid i don't know if you ingest that or put it on your skin and oh a cleanser with salicylic acid and rose water and they have so kindly sent this little personalized travel box which is going to be so good for traveling with that's the cleanser <coughs> And then this is what I know this brand for. Um, so these are um, Happy Gut Supplements. I actually take some evening supplements from this brand and I find it really, really lovely. It's good to obviously work on your beauty from the inside as well as from the outside. Oh my goodness, and I've just made such a bomb site. This room is now so messy. So I'm gonna have a quick tidy up um, because Charlie's on his way home and we're about to go and get our Christmas tree. Okay, tidying mode on. So we've just come down the road to our local Chartwell Cancer Trust down on the way to Brixton. This is where we got our Christmas tree from last year and we're going to get our Christmas tree from again this year. They have some really good big ones which is really hard to find in London. Um, not that we want one that big and then lots of little ones as well. If you've got a small little flat that you want to put a tree in, anyone local to Clapham or Brixton I definitely recommend coming here because the proceeds go to charity and the trees are also um, sourced and grown in Scotland. So they haven't had to fly miles to get here. So a little bit more environmentally friendly. And they also offer a recycling program and like a replanting program. So yeah, generally all around a really good place to come and get your tree. Charlie's chatting away, figuring out which tree he wants. He always gets the final say. No. You chosen? Have you listened to the space ghettos? What's that from again? It's tigers. This is the tricky bit. Good job we got a big car. Oh my god, we're gonna have a lot of pine cones in this car. Should we carry it? Just about fit. Good job we've got a big car. Jinx! Check that bad boy out from Scotland. Scottish Scotland. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start cooking our dinner. I've just typed in some of the ingredients that we've got into the thermix and I'm gonna be making a kale and spelt soup. So let's get started.
So we're taking a quick break from getting the decorations out from the loft and having the soup. So this has got loads of the ingredients that came in the odd box. It's got, hello Dexy, does this smell nice? It's got loads and loads of kale in there. Oh, Charlie's just putting <laughs> some cheese on for me, thank you Charlie. Um, white carrots, I'd never actually seen. <laughs> Snout alert! You won't like this darling, it's too healthy. White carrots, orange carrots, pearl barley, loads of kale, and Shlo some loads of kale, and potatoes that were all in the odd box. So this is a very um, resourceful, hearty winter soup to have for our dinner. Um, Charlie and I have a bit of a Christmas tradition, hello Charlie's bottom, um, of watching Gavin and Stacey when we are decorating the tree. If you guys haven't heard of Gavin and Stacey, I highly oh. suggest oh my gosh, if you've not, you I adjust it. I envy anyone that has never watched Gavin and Stacey, purely because you have it all to watch. You have it all to look For forward to. Time. How's it going? Alright. You alright Stacey, how's it going, you alright? Soup was delicious. Now enjoying one of our biscuitiers that was so kindly given to us by Annabelle in De Beers when I went to get my ring shined. It is looking super sparkly. With my ring shined and my nails all done, it's a perfect combo. little festive corner is complete. It may not be the most stylish Christmas tree in the world, as you can hear Charlie's doing the washing up, um, but we always love our tree because it has got so many little personal memories attached. Whenever Charlie and I go away somewhere special, we like to pick up a tree charm and I would like to hazard a guess there are probably around 20 sausage dogs on this tree. I can see one, two, three, uh, four, five, oh my goodness, there are so many. We've got the new edition of Mufasa this year. Our lovely gingerbread house. So many lovely decorations. And our stockings, ready for Father Christmas. So it's all looking lovely and festive. Our sausage dog is glowing. And I'm not gonna lie, that has taken it out of me. I am tired. <laughs> 